What is going on, man? Uh, awesome that you're picking up the guitar again. It's never too late. Uh, it's a great thing to have. Um, so anyways, now I can do a lot of talking. Well, I guess I will. <laughs> do a little. All right. So what I did and how I learned how to play guitar was I just created a bunch. By the way, excuse me for speaking weird, but I've got a, an issue on my TMJ right now that is fucking with my head. And I've got like severe migraines, but I'm slurring. Anyways. So, all right, um, and by the way, my guitar is tuned to D standard, which means every string is a full step down. And a full step, each fret on the fretboard is a half step, um, unlike piano. On piano, the white keys are, um, but at least the white keys between the, when you got the black keys, the white keys are full steps. The black keys, if you go white to black, that's a half a step, which is essentially like going from here, <laughs> To here so half step whole step and I'm pushing on the first fret right here or open that's a full step anyways like I said I'm in D standard which is a whole step down from E standard which is your normal tuning you're gonna find maybe not so much modern music but old Metallica if you're gonna play along some old Metallica or old Megadeth uh, typically, it's an E standard. Um, so, but let's get started with something really simple, really easy, and really fucking boring. All right, um, you don't even need an amp to do this. It might be better if you don't. Ugh. So, it, it's uh, it's just walking up the fretboard using your four fingers. Now, if you're a little uncomfortable, look. Um, and something I do different that a lot of guys don't do is I put the guitar on this leg. I keep the guitar in front of me as if I'm playing as if I'm standing because I'm doing this to play music and go to play shows so I need to be able to stand and play guitar well to me if I put it back here like a lot of other guys do and do this I don't get to play like that live so for me the guitar goes right here and it goes in front of me so anyways what I was saying and when you're trying to get comfortable on your grip on the guitar the best thing I can tell you is to do a number four like this um, Possibly even pick up a remote controller. Just pick up your iPhone. Well, wait, wait. <laughs> there's my iPhone. I'm recording with it. Um, just something stupid, man. Uh, well, I got nothing really stupid around here. But I guess I do. Lots of stupid stuff. Uh, I mean, literally, here you go. A level. A friggin' a level and a stud finder. Can you do it? If you can pick it up and hold it like this, that's all you got to do to hold the guitar. And a lot of guys get really uncomfortable and they're really trying to force and really get under it like this and they struggle. So, but to get all this started, once you're comfortable and your fingers should line up a little bit like this, you really want to get them to spread one, two, three, four. So you want them to go across the first four frets of your guitar just for access and ease of use. All right. So the, the exercise, simple as hell, but the, the catch is you want each note to be good. You don't want to just breeze through it. That's the worst thing you could ever do. And it'll also get you comfortable to holding a pick again and where you have your hand resting on the guitar. So, and it'll get your right and left hands talking to each other. And if you play to a metronome, which you can download one on your phone for free, that's what I did, uh, it kind of helps you along. You can start at like 20 beats per minute, something really slow, and play quarter notes, which is four notes per click. Well, one, two, three, four, one, and you know, like that. So the exercise is literally just this. That's it. And then move up a fret. You'd be surprised uh, if you're really uncomfortable and really awkward uh, how hard this actually is because you don't want to hit any other notes, no other strings. You want each note to sound good. So you don't want, you don't want that, you don't want any noise. You want a good quality, high quality note. One, or if you don't want to do four, you can literally start with two fingers and go one, two, one. And when you want to mute, just put your hand back down on the string. So watch this. And when also to mute, if you release just lightly on the left hand, so your hand, hands are like just kind of sitting on the strings without pushing them down, that'll also work in your advantage later.
because you get your palm muting and your left hand muting working together, uh, it gives you more dynamics in your playing. So, so one. <laughs> And I was alternate picking, but don't even worry about that because we're just worried about each note sounding good. So you do that on the first string, then you do it on the second string. <laughs> See, now the trick though is that um, when you get to the second string and the third string, you can do it on all of them. And you're going to go up to the 12th or as high as you want. But however, you're, wherever you find your least bit of comfortable, that's where you need to be. Whatever sucks the worst is what you need to be doing. So you're going to do that on all the strings. Work your way up and down the fretboard. And then the other thing, though, is after you get done doing that, go backwards. So you can start here on the 12th and go 12, 11, like. Or you can go up. And the same thing can be done here. Instead of going 1, 2, 2, 3, you can go 2, 2, 1, 3, 1. So you can go. That's actually kind of hard. So, but do that, and same thing. And you're gonna find when you get into these other strings, there's other strings around them. It's a little more difficult to do, uh, to do it cleanly with a single, with picking everything nice and accurately. So, without ringing any other strings out, you gotta remember you gotta mute those with your the ones you aren't using with your palm. You gotta let your hand rest on it, and that way, so, so that way when you're I'm not getting anything out of those, but I can ring. Kind of like that, and your left hand too is going to be muting strings you aren't using as well, and that just kind of happens over time. And it becomes a natural thing. It's not really something you could teach. It just becomes your body will naturally do it, um, just because it becomes just how you play. So again, though. <laughs> And the other one, you know, so we did one, two, so you can go, or you can go one, two, one, two, one, two. You can do that. All those kind of goofy things, they seem really stupid and they feel really boring, right? You aren't going to be doing it anywhere near that fast. Do it slow. Like, but make them all sound good. That's that's the most important thing. Speed is not important. Quality is is, is key to each one to sound good. So there's your there's a quick little lesson. It's boring as shit. Um, practice that until you start getting a little bit more comfortable. Um, you're going to want to do it for about just five to ten minutes before you start doing other exercises. It's a, it's a good warm-up even now for me, and I've been playing for 24 years. I can still run through these, and I'm way better doing everything else if I burn through these first. It takes me about five minutes to burn through all of them. I mean, like, literally just you know. I'll do that and you know. Anyways, a lot of that's hammer on pull off, and that's really sloppy right now because I am a little off. So. Yeah, and I could probably need to exercise and probably need to do these. So, anyways, those should get you started. And then I can teach you, uh, you do that five to 10 minutes a day, uh, however long it takes, but don't get, don't kill yourself. As soon as it starts, your hands don't want to go where you're telling them to anymore, stop. Uh, even if it's only two and a half, three minutes in, you haven't gotten through two strings, go ahead and stop. Take 30 minutes if you got that kind of time and come back to it later or come back to it the next day. But don't sit there and burn yourself out. Uh, it's the worst thing you could do. Um, and I'll, I'll make you a video of uh, simple chords um, that you can 
that it's going to teach you how to play, you know, you know, just straight up chords, um, because that gets you working on your fingers being arched and addressing these strings individually and letting the, some ring open and some of them uh, be, be fretted and some of them be muted. Um, it's really important and it also just builds that dexterity up um, just to practice those chords. And the technique will come with it. It has to. There's no other way for it to happen. It, you'll, you'll naturally build technique just by doing this stuff. Um, and yeah, and it'll be secondary. And then you can then you can start grabbing onto them YouTube videos where people start doing insane shit. So anyways, man, cheers. Glad I could help. Um, and I hope this does help. It might seem boring, dude, but it's totally worth it. It will... It'll get your playing up to speed faster than anything else. Um, and if you could tie theory in with it, um, that'll help get your playing for, further, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm taking lessons for theory. So I can't really teach you that. Um, but yeah, it, it's definitely worth it. But this will get you off the ground and get you started and get you comfortable so that you are comfortable with the fretboard and comfortable. Your ear will start finding notes. You're like, oh, I like that over there. Oh, look, I found this here, here, and here. And things will just start clicking the more you do it. And 15 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, if you got that kind of time, and just keep doing it. All right, man. Good luck.